we are continuing our discussions on building rag based llm app using fast ai and gradio and in this video i want to talk about what is gradio and how gradio is kind of uh, provides you the web interface that we need to build a chatbot ui right so as i mentioned like gradio provides a web interface which can accept a user input and then it passes it through a python function and the Python function returns output, which gets displayed in the web interface, right? So this Python function can be a LLM call or a machine learning model that is being deployed. And the user can pass the features or a particular question to that uh, model, which is either a machine learning model or LLM model. And then the Python function will return the output and that will be displayed in the uh, output of the web interface, right? To get started with Gradio, you need to do the installation like pip install Gradio. Then you have to import it using like this, import Gradio as GR. Then Gradio provides certain uh, interfaces through which you can build a demo app or uh, you can uh, deploy your machine learning model and expose it as a uh, app, right? So here uh, we will basically, we will start with a very basic Gradio interface. So you can see like I am importing this GR dot interface. So this interface, which comes from a Gradio package, uh, has uh, three core arguments, right? So first is like FN. So FN is like a function to wrap a user interface around. So we have a function that we need, to, uh, that we will use as a kind of a serving thing. And that will kind of accept the user input and return a output from that function. So here we can see our function is greet, right? So that function accepts a parameter name and then it returns uh, by concatenating hello with the name, right? So that is the function that is one of the core arguments that we have for Gradio interface. Then we have the inputs. So the Gradio components uh, to use for the input. So this we will use for the input and the number of components should match the number of arguments in your function. So whatever inputs we are using here, uh, that should be same as number of arguments that we should pass to the uh, this function right so here we can see like we have only one input that is a text box so that will uh, like accept the user input and then it pass it pass it through the uh, python function and the python function will return output right so the gradio components uh, that is being used for the output is uh, the output which you can see here the number of components again should match the number of return values from your function so here you can see like it the, your python function is returning only one value so also we are mentioning only one uh, value in the output of this uh, interface right now let's try to run this and see how it looks like right so if i just uh, once i create the demo app using this gr dot interface then you, we can launch this and then i can write my name here which will kind of act as an input to the uh, greet function and then I will submit and we will get the output like hello is get then concatenated with my name and that is being shown as an output. So this is kind of a very basic uh, Gradio interface that you can build and you you can like on the back end you can have that function uh, take a user input then pass it through a machine learning model or LLM and then returns the output from that function as uh, output in the uh, web interface. Right. Then uh, we can have like multiple inputs also. Right. So you can see here the inputs are uh, we are passing as two. One of them is text and then there is slider. Right. So what we are, uh, as I mentioned, like number of inputs which we have here that should match the number of inputs to the function or the FN. Right. So here we can see like we have two inputs like name and intensity and then uh, we can like run the demo app and see how it works right so as you can see here we have like two inputs so i can mention my name then we also have a slider component which will kind of introduce uh, intensity of uh, this uh, the name of this uh, input is kind of intensity and now if i submit we can see like as i mentioned six here so hello is multiplied by six and that gets displayed and then my name is coming as output from this right so I hope you uh, got an understanding how the basic uh, the Gradio interface works and how you can support like multiple user input and also you can have multiple outputs right so just that you have to 
uh, return also the same number of outputs from the uh, the working function that we are using inside this radio interface right so with this let's talk about another component which we will actually use in our uh, app which is the LLM map that we are trying to create uh, that is a chatbot uh, interface right so here also we will have a function so that function generally accepts uh, two input one is like message and history and history is kind of uh, represents a pair of like user input and uh, bot response so this uh, then we can like uh, wrap that function inside this gr dot interface and right so uh, so the three things which are uh, mainly important so your chat function is like this is a random response this is our chat function should take two arguments right so this is one of the mistake i was doing while creating the app that i was only uh, using one input to this function or one argument to this function so that you should not do so you can have like uh, you need to have like two inputs to this uh, function and uh, one of them is like message and history and uh, then uh, you have this uh, message a string representing the user input then we have the history which is uh, a list of lists representing the conversation up till this point and each inner list consists of two uh, string representing a pair the user input and bot response right so now let's try to run this and see how it looks so this is how the uh, chat interface looks like so we have this um, placeholder where we will like write uh, any of our questions like how are uh, you let me write it so basically the chat uh, function which we have that is kind of a random choice it is doing between yes and no and randomly it will output yes or no right so this is how you can create a chat interface now let's make it a bit more intuitive so what we can do is we can have uh, again a chat function which is like uh, the name of this is yes man then we it also accepts like message and history and uh, then it based on certain condition it returns uh, either yes or ask me anything right then we can add few of the uh, parameters which are related to chat interface so first of all like you need to pass the function uh, then you mention the chatbot which is like gr dot chatbot and the height of this is 300 then we have a text box so text box is kind of uh, where the user will uh, put their question and we are also uh, placing a placeholder there so ask me a yes or no question and then we have the, like this parameters like container equals to false and scale equals to seven right so we are also mentioning a title uh, then a description of that and then we are mentioning the theme equals to soft and also we are providing certain examples right so it it may be the case that you want to provide certain examples of your question so that you can also provide using this examples equals to um, and then a list of those questions right so then we are mentioning few of the other parameters and then let's try to run this and see how it looks like right so you can see this is kind of uh, the name of the app which is yes man so that is kind of the title which we are seeing here then what we are doing is we can like uh, pass a question uh, and and then we can get the output right uh, are tomatoes vegetables right so you can see uh, the question is going here and the corresponding answer we are getting from the uh, the response function or the chat function which is being written here right so what we can do in our app is that we can build this function in such a way that it is kind of doing a llm call call and based on the user question it will do a, a rag retrieval and then the output will be shown in this uh, as an output in this web interface right so i hope you got an initial understanding of what this gradio is and in the next video we will try to like combine everything like fast api then gradio and the llm calls everything we will try to combine and create a fully functional front-end LLM uh, app which is based on RAG right so with this I will end this video so if you haven't subscribed this channel please subscribe and like this video share this content with your friends and colleague thank you see you in the next video